right, boys and girls, it has been a hot minute since I've done one of these, mainly because I've been busy and also because there hasn't been a whole lot exciting me too much lately. Uh, but I did pick up the new Wolverine number one. Wanted to check it out. Got Cyber on the cover. Like I said, it's been a hot minute. Last I knew this guy was dead. I died. <laughs> but then again, Wolverine died too, so you know how it goes. Uh... I'm going to preface this by saying I'm getting a little tired of everybody dying and coming back all the time. It's getting a little frustrating. I just, you know, either don't kill them or, you know, leave them dead. Pick one. That's all I'm saying. However, taking that out of the mix, I did actually like this comic. Uh, not too much to say without giving too much away. This is an introduction into a new Wolverine series. This is after Krakoa has fallen. This is after Orcus. This is after, you know, all of that stuff. Uh, Wolverine's out hiding, trying to get in touch with himself, etc. and so forth. Because, you know, th things aren't always, aren't always going well for him. And he's got Cyber on his tail. He doesn't know this yet, but uh, by the end of the comic, it's going to be, be quite obvious. I did a little wiki look. I did a little... Uh, look on the Marvel website, just try to catch up. Even the Marvel website uh, only had Cyber at the point where he'd had the pacemaker attached. If you guys aren't familiar with that storyline, there was a whole thing where Wolverine defeated him. Uh, he had a weak heart. They attached a pacemaker. This is after he came back and took over somebody else. This is like his third or fourth resurrection. That's all I'm saying. Because uh, I remember when Cyber was completely murderized and uh, had his whole skeleton removed way back when they gave they used the adamantium to give Wolverine his metal skeleton back. So, anyhow. But this in particular story, such as it is, start of a new situation. You've probably already seen it. I'm not gonna. Tr I'm not gonna give away who the bad guy is at the end of the book. I don't follow where they're going with this uh obviously i'm gonna have to read uh, you know number two find out what's going on but the story in and of itself i thought was very well done hopefully i don't uh, butcher any of these just to make sure we're on the same page here this one where did it go it was written by saladin ahmed hopefully i pronounced that right uh, artist was martin kakolo again hopefully i, I pronounced that right and I thought they did a very good job. Loved the art. The art is absolutely on point. The story, like I said, was actually really, really good, despite the fact that I don't like where the story started from, and I'm not sure where it's going. But what I got in this issue was, was very well done. Enough so that I'm going to give issue two a try and see where we're going. Yes, this is another Wolverine number one. I'm sure you all have plenty of copies of those. Uh, <laughs> but... You know, hey, we were, we're starting over again because because that's what we do. So I don't give stars to comic books like I do to regular books. But I will tell you that if you want to check out the new Wolverine one, I will definitely not tell you not to. There's also a couple other books I picked up, which I will get into later. But this one in particular, I liked it. I think you'll like it. I don't know if I would say it's an absolute must get especially if you're wolverine out at this point, because let's face it, he is my favorite character, so I, so that's why I gave this one a try. However, I'm probably with a lot of other people where now that he's lost a lot of the mystery of his past, I don't know if he's necessarily as engaging of a character, but I also understand that, you know, he's been around for decades now. You can't be a man of mystery for that long. Eventually, little secrets and hints have to come out. And he's just been around long enough that we've we've caught up with most of them now. If you're thinking about getting Wolverine, I'll tell you, go ahead and read it. See what you think. I think you'll like it. I personally thought the story was great. I personally thought the art was excellent. I'm trying to catch up on a lot of books that I've fallen behind on. Uh, but there were a few comics that caught my eye this last week. So I did actually make a trip out to the comic book store and picked up a few more. And I will get to those other ones later. All right. If I don't see you before then, I will see you guys on Friday in time for the weekly wrap-up. Take care.